Researchers measured arterial thickening in 158 patients over a three-year period. Although at least 70% of patients showed some arterial thickening, those who used TNF inhibitors had significantly less. The purpose of our study was to look over about three and a half years at um, patients who progressed versus those who didn't progress in terms of atherosclerosis so that we could really get at the predictors of that progression. It's always important to understand what causes an outcome. And if you can identify certain things that cause or predict or associated with outcomes, then you can try to intervene on those specific items. So if prednisone is contributing to more accelerated atherosclerosis and cardiovascular death, then we really ought to try to limit our use of that. If anti-TNF therapy really does slow progression, then maybe our treatment paradigm should shift uh, in that regard. Um, I think that the the relationship of inflammation to faster progression really tells us, if, it, if it's borne out in other studies, it really tells us that if we can tightly control the disease activity and really profoundly limit that inflammation, then maybe we can eliminate that risk as well.